Hey everyone, this is uh, Master Fija. I guess contacting my YouTube viewers, and uh, this is uh, a little tribute I made to an upcoming game that hasn't really been released yet called Final Fantasy Dissidia, and uh, it's being released by Square Enix, even though its actual release date hasn't been given yet. And I'm really looking forward to this game. In fact, I actually bought a PSP specifically for this game. And um, I guess this tribute that I've made for you guys is a short account of the characters that I hope to see either as main characters or possibly as unlockables in the game. Um, I hope you enjoy. Let's start things off with everyone's favorite six-armed swordsman. Drum roll, please. What? You, you don't know him? I'll give you a hint. Starts with a Gilga and ends with a Mesh. He has big pointy swords! Oh, now you get it. I love his character simply because he's so well developed and in fact he shows up in five of the different Final Fantasies. He shows up in Final Fantasy 1, 5, 6, 8, and even 12. And I find that this character is really quite comically amazing. As I mentioned before, Gilgamesh is found in many Final Fantasy games. And on that basis, I believe that he deserves a strong footing in this upcoming Final Fantasy Dissidia game. And in fact, he kicks a lot of ass in the games he is found in. He made his debut in the release of Final Fantasy V in 1992. And in fact, our heroes from this game have to fight him a total of five times, which is more than any other Final Fantasy baddie in the franchise history. And here's some scenes of him in Final Fantasy VI and Final Fantasy VIII, just for the hell of it. Go Gilga! Mesh? He would definitely be one of my first picks for this game as a character. Let's move on, shall we? Now, may I introduce the Jester of Doom. 
the Magi of Mayhem. Oops, sorry. Wrong evil clown. Ah, there we go. Much better. It can be easily said that one of Kefka's most noticeable traits is his evil cackling laugh that uh, brings fear into the most hardened returners. It's actually, in fact, well to be noted that Kefka's laugh, even though it's only a couple of digitally sprung notes to mimic a laugh, is actually the first record of voices for any of the characters in the Final Fantasy games. And I think that's pretty cool, being a character that has a very first voice. What I love about Kefka as a villain is that, unlike the villains that came before him, he has no predisposition to be evil. No controlling power, no otherworldly force, no super powerful god, no fear of death or mortality, just simply insanity and the wish to destroy everything in his path, which makes for a very bad human being, but a very amazing villain. And I find it quite interesting that, unlike the villains before him, Kefka has one of the deepest and most well-developed character or villain development in the Final Fantasy games up to this point. How did this get in here? That should do it for uh, Kefka. Now on to my next pick. Now, last but not least, one of my most favorite Final Fantasy characters, villain or hero, the all-powerful and the all-awesome Golbez. Now, you're probably asking yourself why I think that Golbez is such an awesome character. And the truth is, it's because of his awesome diversity in Final Fantasy IV. Think about it. What kind of a character, villain, or hero could go around smacking the crap out of the heroes countless times, posing as the biggest villain in the game, defeating almost every hero several times, and then in the end, joining the party, redeeming himself, and helping imminently defeat the final boss. Not to mention the fact that the entire time, even though the main character is Cecil, the storyline was revolving around him. He was pulling all the strings. He was... He was the puppet master, that's the truth. Now check out Golbez in this next scene coming up. He pretty much knocks his little brother Cecil to the ground, goes up and takes his girlfriend Rosa, and... Man, he's just so badass in the scene. He's just so pimping. Go Golbez. Strength, weakness, passion, deceit, betrayal, redemption. Man, Golbez has the entire package. Not to mention magical powers, an awesome suit of armor, and the ability to boss around four elemental fiends. Man. Well, this concludes my Dissidia pick. I hope you enjoyed the video I've made for you guys. And please leave a response. And guys, don't worry about it. The game will get here eventually. The more we anticipate it, the better it will be. Good night and uh, happy gaming.